Hello, this is Rodrigo from your class, PPCR 2022, Group 5. This time we're going to talk about the study designs according to different study phase developments of clinical trials and experimental studies. First of all, we would like to differentiate among the experimental uh, uh, studies and other types of uh, studies, just like uh, descriptive studies, and especially in experimental designs, we have to uh, realize that the cause and effect is essential purpose uh, for them to take place. Uh, normally, they get to be randomized, they get to be controlled trails, and among some of the information that differs from the experimental studies and the quasi-experimental and observational is whether there's a control or whether there's an intervention. For uh, controls, we can, we can use either placebo or we can use the active standard treatment that has been already approved or no intervention at all in cases like equipoise. In these cases, we have to take in advantage uh, a knowledge of the ethical committee and the informed consent previews to um, to selecting and recruiting any any stu uh, participant in the study. Now there's a difference be uh, between experimental and quasi-experimental designs, and uh, although quasi-experimental designs may also give us um, cause and effect. Uh, they can also help us to find relationship or association in between different variables, specifically with the independent variable. In summary, whether there's full ma manipulation or not manipulation, it will define whether your design is experimental, quasi-experimental or observational study. The difference be in between quasi-experimental and experimental design will be basically the randomization or non-randomization along with the control study group. The internal validity is of concern in experimental studies, meanwhile quasi-experimental is prone to external validity. This is, in a way, due to the, the, the purpose of experimental studies that tries to assess cause and effect, and it uh, creates a relatively uh, artificial environment. Meanwhile, quasi-experimental is more prone to real life and event descriptions and participants in experimental studies get to be uh, randomly assigned and as well as the either control or experimental arm. Meanwhile, in quest experimental, we get to do uh, normally non-equivalent groups. Efficacy may be obtained in an experimental study since it will measure the possible harm in a controlled environment of the intervention. Meanwhile, effectiveness is more prone to real world in order to uh, and compared to the standard treatment. There is four phases in, in clinical trials, and phase one ma uh, mainly focuses on safety, the dosage, the timing, and side effects. Normally, there's a, s a small group of subjects, and we are prone to measure more pharmacokinetics than pharmacodynamics. Normally, it's open label and healthy volunteers in the study. Meanwhile, in, in phase two studies, uh, it's called also therapeutic or exploratory, and uh, it's more prone to the measuring the efficacy uh, rather than effectiveness. Still, small samples of, of population of participants and interventions may, may be able to demonstrate either superiority or non-inferiority to standard treatment. Uh, normally, control population is suggested and they can be either blinded, single-blinded, or unblinded. And uh, randomization or ra non-randomization, it depends on which is the trail and the ethical and legal perspectives. Phase three confirms the results from phase, phase two, and it goes with larger samples, of, and normally it's recommended to be multi-center study, and it focuses on primary and secondary outcomes. Controls can be either standard treatment or placebo, uh, placebo, and it's suggested to be double-blinded rather than single-blinded. Randomization is also as pretty much suggested, and although there's more flexibility within the inclusion and exclusion criteria in comparison to phase two. 
study can uh, the sign of the study may be parallel or crossover the sign although in the crossover design we have to take in consideration the carryover effect and the washout period phase four clinical trials the intervention is already approved by the fda and uh, it mainly focuses on the side effects or the effect of in heterogeneous population it also assesses uh, minimal risk factors, other benefits, and what are the different optimal use patterns. It is focused more into the effectiveness rather than the efficacy. And it also has a large sample population, and it's also recommended to be multi-center study. The more you control the exposure towards the independent variable, higher internal validity, the less you control the environment and uh, it, it resembles real life, you will have a higher external validity that will also assess for its effectiveness. Thank you very much for watching and please let me know any suggestions, questions regarding the video. It's my first time video and uh, regarding the subject, of course. Bye.